Senior at Norfolk Senior High. And my poem is called Chronic. People don't understand that when I say don't touch me, it means don't touch me. I have arthritis. Actually, I have ankylosing spondylitis, but arthritis is so much easier to explain. My arthritis is like a dragon, huge, terrifying, unable to be conquered, but to most, a figment of my imagination. See, it's easy for parents to dismiss aches as growing pains, and doctors are hesitant to tell kids when something's wrong with them. So instead of brave dwarves and mighty elves, dedicating their lives to the plunging of dungeons and destruction of dragons, I have goblins and skeletons telling me that I could never beat the dragon, that I am too weak and would fall on the ground at one look into its piercing eyes. You know, I used to be the strong one who could kick anybody's a slayer of dragons and high school aged idiots alike. Now people think they could touch a fingertip to my back and I'd crumble. And some days that is true. On those days I'd give anything to be seen as strong once more for people to know that I am so much more than chronic pain. Thinking back to when I was a little kid playing tag on the playground before I dedicated my life to dragon slaying and realizing afterward that the glory wasn't worth the pain, that off-season sword training shouldn't have meant constant abuse to the muscles that gave me the talent I had, and the need to impress everybody around me wasn't worth the inability to prove it again. And I wonder now how it would feel to get through just a day without the distraction of burning, stinging, aching pain. See, Google said it's scoliosis, and my doctor said it was shingles, and my family said to just toughen up. But how do I toughen up when I've lost the safe haven that was my bed? Because lying down no longer brings comfort. All a weighted blanket does is worsen the pressure as I feel my bones being crushed by the weight of what was supposed to make me feel better. Even as my muscles try to relax, they can't. People around me laugh when I say it is time to slay the dragon. They take one look at me. They tell me that I am nothing more than that over-consuming, life-sucking reality that I face every day. So when I say don't touch me, yes, it means don't touch me because even though that's hard, even though I crave that comfort, its absence is much easier to bear. Gotta use my